Intuitive has a, a blended approach to our manufacturing process. And, um, and the reason for that is we have a lot of different um, aspects of our product. We have a, a mechanical component, uh, an electrical component, uh, vision and optics. And um, there are companies out there that, that do some of those things very well. For example, optics um, and vision. Um, while we have done some of the uh, initial design, our ability to manufacture that as efficiently and effectively as someone that has been doing that for years, um, we are not as good at that. And so what we've chosen to do is focus the areas that we're really good on, which is the mechanical and the uh, electronics components of our product, and keep those internal and focus to make sure that those are as optimal and as, and as good as possible and allowing other companies to um, focus on what they do very well. So it's a trade-off, it's a balance, and you, if you focus on too many things, you're not gonna do all of them very well. Whereas if you can focus on the two or three things that you do really well, you can get those to a very high level and let someone else bring those other uh, components up. We actually manufacture uh, a, a very complex, intense capital piece of equipment and also uh, high volume uh, instrumentation, uh, the reusable um, items on our product. And um, initially when we started our manufacturing process, we made a decision to manufacture both of those uh, components here uh, in the Bay Area. Um, after about seven or eight years, when we had the uh, understanding um, well um, in place for our instruments. We started looking at cost uh, savings uh, for, for the instrumentation part of our product because the changes on those were much more gradual and they could be um, rolled from one instrument to another and affect a broad range of, of products. On the capital side where we were making um, more significant changes in, in the platforms we felt it was best to maintain that here close to our, uh, close to our engineering facility so that we could uh, have lessons learned, implement changes quickly, and roll those out to the field. The thing that's important in our, in our world is the ability to respond and react very quickly. And so when you want to uh, make improvements or, or enhancements to your products, um, by having the engineering and the manufacturing teams very closely integrated and, and in close proximity to each other, you can do those things quickly. And when you can do those quickly, that enables you to deploy those to the field and to your customers. And ultimately what that does is it improves our patient uh, outcomes in, in terms of our procedures and, um, and it just helps the OR teams uh, run more, much more efficiently. The other benefit that you get from keeping things co-located, especially here in the Bay Area where there's a, an abundance of talent, is, um, is you have all of those components and all of those um, aspects integrated in one tight uh, facility. And, uh, and the benefits of that, even though it may cost a little bit more, um, are far significant and far outweigh the cost savings that you may get by moving a product or a, a manufacturing of your products in another location. On the instrumentation, where the changes were less frequent and we had a much more consistent, repeatable process, we made the decision to move that down to our Mexico facility and, uh, and begin the um, production of, of those products down there. And the reasons for that were primarily to help with the cost associated in the overall um, um, cost per procedure for, for, our, uh, for our hospitals. So, Rather than outsource it to a third party, we actually built our own facility. We hired our own employees. We integrated all of our manufacturing processes, all of our tooling and test equipment, and all of the processes that we used here in Sunnyvale down in our Mexico facility. If you go down to Mexico, it actually looks identical to our facility here in the Bay Area. Um, other than the surroundings outside, you would not think that you were, you were there.